Hey guys, it's Irish again. In the last video I showed you how to change the mod key and how to uh, change some of the key bindings and also change the default terminal and also the editor. In this video I'm going to show you how to theme a little bit of this top bar up here. Uh, but before we do, um, I've gotten a lot of comments in my past videos about me using sudo a lot of the times uh, when I'm editing a configuration file. It's just an old habit that I'm trying to break, so um, please call me out if you do see me uh, using it in this video. Uh, I'm trying to my best not to, to do that. I self-taught and the videos that I've seen and all the stuff that I've, all the configurations, it always said to use sudo, so that's where my bad habit uh, came from. So so let's begin. Um, one thing I'm going to do first is we're going to change this uh, theme on this top bar. So let's bring up Thunar really fast. So the themes for awesome are in the user slash share slash awesome and then the themes. So right now here's the default theme. We're going to change it to the Zen Burn theme. So if we open up our terminal here, do a g edit slash our uh, tilde slash dot config slash rc dot lua. Oh, one. Sorry, I forgot the awesome part on this. Awesome. Now, awesome dot slash rc dot lua. Open that up, and let's make this big. So, where to change the theme is going to be right here under the user slash share slash awesome themes default. So, you just want to change it here. Uh, so you can keep it at this pathway, but before I change this, what I did was I changed this. I copied all the files over from the user slash share slash awesome to the .config file. So uh, the the thing you want to do is cp dash r and then user share awesome themes and then you want to do that to the dot config slash awesome slash themes so that will so that will copy all of the stuff in the themes over to the dot config I've done this already so let me show you what it looks like so if we uh, change directory into that dot config awesome and we do an ls you'll notice that there's the themes so if we go into that you'll notice here that we have the default sky and zenburn so I'm gonna change this uh, over to that so we're just gonna change this part here to the home slash my name and then slash dot config awesome themes and then under here we're going to do Zenburn. So we're going to save that, exit out, and then we're going to restart this. So we're going to go restart. Now if we look at it you'll notice that these here, the layout icons are different and you'll also notice that the background is different too. So that is uh, the way that you would want to change your themes in the awesome uh, window configuration. So the second thing that we are going to do is we're going to change this icon here uh, to a black arch icon. So let's uh, once again get into our gedit slash let's go back here. So we're going to go gedit rc.lua. I'm sorry. So where we need to change that is the in the themes. So we're going to go change themes and then we're going to go into the Zenburn. 
and list this out. The 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 file that we need is the theme.lua. So we're gonna go G edit theme.lua. This should open up here. So the theme so if you want to change your wallpaper, uh, you can change it here to whatever pathway you have, but for me, I like to use nitrogen, so what I'm going to do is just comment this out. So this won't, uh, so once I change my wallpaper, it won't change back to default, the one that you see here. So to change the icon up on the top, we're going to scroll down here until we see the theme.awesome underscore icon. So we're going to change this to a icon that I uh, found on the internet and then tweaked it to be black. So we're going to go here and then it's going to be called arch icon 2 dot PG, PNG. So we're going to save this and then we're going to restart. So if we look now, you see the black icon here, and then you should see the black icon right here too. So let's uh, change our background here. We'll just hit apply, have the old one. Now if we reset this again, you'll notice that it won't go back to the default. It will stick to the set, uh, the set wallpaper. So the next thing we're going to do is going to edit the foreground slash background on this top bar. So we're going to go back into the file here, uh, which is the right here. We're going to go back into the theme.lua. So the, what you want to look for is the colors right here. So the foreground is going to be uh, what you're going to see with the numbers and then the background is obviously it's going to be the uh, background of the bar. So, so what we're going to do, I'm going to go out of my norm instead of doing all blue here. What we're going to do is do like a gray uh, black color. So if we go over to the HTML color codes, uh, I think my background is going to be this color. So if we just copy this and then go back to this, uh, we're going to go to the background normal and we're going to copy and paste that. So if we save this and then restart it here, you'll notice a darker, uh, darker gray color. So what I want for the numbers to be is all black. So we can just use the six zeros. So if we go back here and then go to the normal. one two three and then we're going to and then for the urgent I always make it a nice red color so that's nine and then five zeros afterwards so we're going to save this and then we're going to restart this one more time so now as you can see there's a, a nice gray color here and then the the colors are in black and then uh, we can change this further if we wanted to by creating a uh, what the border is and stuff like that all within this so it would be the focus border width uh, we'll just say one and then the border normal border focus and border marked which I'm assuming is uh, the little tab things and then if you don't want the little tile bars here uh, then it would be 
the tag list right here so you can get rid of them but uh, th it's a nice indicator of what uh, which works works they uh, workspaces are in or what programs are in the workspaces and then you can also change the theme font so I'm just gonna leave this as sans 8 but you can make it to whatever so we'll save this and then we will once again restart and then as you can see uh, it has stuck even the time over here so again how I theme this uh, some of you may not like it uh, again beauty is in the eye of the holder so one person may like uh, a certain way of doing it and then another person may think it's the most ugly thing in the world so theme it however you guys want I would love to see um, screenshots of what you guys come up with because I have some I have seen some beautiful um, awesome configs and it's uh, really amazing what people can do so that is all I have for this video uh, in the next video we are going to do the sub menu here and then we are also going to start the widgets up here so we're going to add a battery widget and then we're also going to add a pac-man widget which will let me know what type of uh, if there's any updates available and if so if we uh, went, highlighted it over it'll tell me what needs to be updated so uh, I will be making that in the next few days, so look out for that, and uh, have a good weekend, and I'll catch you guys next video.